Over the past two decades, bushfire seasons have become noticeably worse, both here in Australia and around the world. The loss of life and vast damage to property and the environment was due in many cases to catastrophic firestorms. These unique storms develop rapidly and erratically, often preventing safe evacuations and proving extremely hard to model and manage. Our current predictive models are based on a small, well-defined line of fire that grows with a roughly constant speed. The reality of firestorms is much more complicated. As fires grow, critical changes in the landscape and weather conditions can cause a relatively benign fire to suddenly escalate. Flying embers lead to localised spot fires, which can coalesce forming new blazes and multiple fire fronts. The behaviour of the fire is now very difficult to predict. As the plume of a large intense fire reaches high enough into the atmosphere, moisture from the burnt fuel can condense and begin to form its own weather system, known as a firestorm or pyrocumulonimbus. Intense downdrafts and erratic winds spread the fire further and dry lightning strikes ignite new blazes that merge with the main fire. This firestorm is well beyond suppression. These extreme fire scenarios are becoming more common. Between 2000 and 2018, 46 firestorms were confirmed in Australia. In the 2019-20 season alone, we experienced at least 35 such events. We must act now to develop improved predictive tools to mitigate the increasing threat of extreme fire behaviour. The University of New South Wales is a global leader in cutting-edge research into bushfire dynamics, simulation and modelling. UNSW researchers have already provided a number of significant insights into extreme bushfires, and the opportunity exists to build upon this work. Using this research, analysts will be able to more accurately predict which fires will develop into firestorms and better model their spread across the landscape. This will enable emergency services to better fight fires and protect vulnerable communities and ecosystems, ultimately saving countless lives.